Hello everyone and welcome to this very special edition of The Money Man. Today we are going to look at some fantastic banknotes from a very troubled part of the world and talking about the very resilient nation of Syria. Syria is a country in Western Asia, also known as the Middle East, bordered by the Lebanon, Turkey, Israel, Iraq and Jordan. In recent times, Syria has been devastated by internal conflict and international meddling that continues to this day. However, despite all of Syria's troubles, the Central Bank of Syria issued a new series of banknotes which began in 2010 and was completed quite recently in 2017. All the banknotes featured in this series were created by Austrian banknote designer Robert Kalina, and I think that you'll agree by the end of this video that he did an absolutely incredible job. So let's have a look at our first banknote in this series, and here it is. This is the lowest denomination, which is the 50 Syrian pound note, and it features archaeological treasures, a theme that continues throughout this series. Right here you can see a rectangular Ugarit tablet written in the ancient language of Abjad. Ugarit was an ancient port city discovered in 1928 by accident close to the modern city of Latakia. The obverse also features a larger circular Ebla tablet discovered by Italian archaeologist Paolo Mathei during an archaeological dig with his team during the years 1974 to 1975. The tablet, along with other fragments discovered at the time, are believed to be around 4,250 to 4,500 years old. So let's have a look at the reverse of this fantastic note. The reverse features two centerpiece images. The first is the Al-Assad National Library, located in Damascus, which overlooks Umayyad Square. A lone statue of Hazaf al-Assad, Syria's previous president and the late father of the incumbent president, Bashar al-Assad, sits proudly before the main entrance into the library. Next up is the 100 Syrian pound note, and here it is. Now, this note features the main archway leading into the historic Roman theatre at Bosra. It is important to remember that the Levant and wider areas are dotted with incredibly well-preserved Roman structures, which continue to stand tall despite the years of conflict and weathering that they have been subjected to. Now, let's have a look at the reverse. The reverse holds two important images. Firstly, the left of the reverse has a depiction of the Dome of the Treasury from the Umayyad Mosque in Damascus. However, the reverse is dominated by the image of the Syrian Central Bank Headquarters building, the only issuing party of currency in Syria. Nestled beside the Central Bank, is a coin produced during the reign of Roman Emperor Marcus Julius Philippus, also known as Philip the Arab. Marcus Julius, born in the Roman province of Arabia Petraea, within modern-day Syria, ruled as Emperor of Rome from 224 AD to 249 AD. Marcus Julius is seen as a source of historical pride and creates a connection between the modern peoples of Syria and the greatness of the Roman Empire. Now, let's have a look at the next note. The next note featured is the 200 Syrian pound note. This fantastic note features the Narias of Hama, two huge water wheels situated on the Orontes River that flow through Hama. And you can see a picture of them just in the left there. These incredible constructions are seldom used today and are only retained and maintained for their aesthetic beauty. The reverse of the note holds key images of the ceiling of the Temple of Bel in Palmyra. 
And you'll all know that Palmyra is a great historical site, especially concerning the Roman Empire. Sadly, in 2015, extensive damage was done to the temple by the savages known as Daesh. However, courageous actions by the Syrian government forces with significant Russian support recaptured Palmyra before the site could be completely destroyed. Moving on, we now have the next one, which is the 500 Syrian pound note, which is adorned with a refreshing blue colour. The obverse of this note depicts the Damascus Opera House, therefore celebrating the cultural arts in Syria and reinforcing the importance of the capital Damascus as the heart and soul of the country. And you can see it right there. Let's have a look at the reverse. The reverse is littered with glorious images from antiquity, namely the Mosaic of Musicians, a stunning archaeological find from a Byzantine-era villa located at Meriamin. The reverse also features another ancient clay tablet known as the Hurrian Songs. Also found in Ugarit, these songs are considered to be the oldest surviving substantially complete works of music from anywhere in the ancient world. Only two denominations left now. Here we can see the, one th the wonderful 1,000 Syrian pound note, which has an incredible image of the Roman theatre at Palmyra, known as the Bosra Amphitheatre. It too was occupied by Daesh in 2015. However, counter-offensives by the Syrian-Russian forces liberated the site. In celebration of this, the Russian Marinsky Symphony Orchestra from St. Petersburg performed at this historical site in mid-2015, thus highlighting the importance of defending civilization against barbarism. The reverse of the £1,000 note pays further tribute to the late Great Roman Empire, this time with a nod to one of Rome's most famous obsessions, wine. An ornate mosaic of the grape harvest at Deir al-Adas celebrates Syria's heritage as a Roman region teeming with vineyards. And here we are, we've reached the final and highest denomination in the series, the spectacular 2000 Syrian pound note with its epic colour scheme. In keeping with tradition, the highest denomination is reserved for the portrait of the incumbent president, Bashar al-Assad, who has survived much turmoil and plotting, like his father before him, and continues to serve as president of Syria to this present day. Although Syria is officially a secular state without religious law, Islam is the dominant religion. In homage to this fact, the Umayyad Mosque, also known as the Great Mosque of Damascus, can be seen depicted to the left of President Assad. And you can see that it's written in English and in Arabic, Umayyad Mosque, just next to it. The reverse of this note features the People's Council of Syria's Interior, the legislative authority in Syria. Recent electoral reforms have seen this chamber become the home of a multi-party system. Since 2003, the Speaker's post has been filled by a woman, Hadiya Khalaf Abbas, and later an Orthodox Christian, Hamouda Sabag. So that's everything that I have for you today. There are some of the most, these are some of the most interesting banknotes that I've researched in recent months. And I would also like to extend my prayers and best wishes to the people of Syria who have suffered enormously at the hands of extremism in the most recent years, and again, this, you know, suffering a really dark and uncertain future with everything that's going on that you can see in the news now. Um, so yeah, those people, they really deserve, you know, peace and, and you know, prosperity really, and I, I feel terribly for them. However, these are some of the most fantastic banknotes I think I've come across in recent years, and they really marry two great passions in my life, which are history and banknotes. So what do you think about this series? Do you think it's an interesting one? Because they're quite cheap. 
they're not that easy to get hold of, but they're not rare and they're not scarce. So have a look on eBay, you can find them. I think they're definitely well worth picking up. So thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this video. This one took a little bit more research, a little bit more preparation, and I hope it's been delivered in a bit more of a professional manner. So if you like this style of presentation, please, please smash that like button and let me know in the comments section. I would really like to hear your feedback on this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, of course, and you can find me on Facebook at The Money Man 1066 Links are down in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. It's The Money Man, signing out for now. Bye-bye.